Kinemaster. Whoa, did you notice how fast that music was? That's because today we are fastering Kinemaster. What do I mean by that? We are going to learn how to make our workflow a little bit faster with bookmarks that I never knew was there and that one of my users, uh, UniWolfieJXX, thanks so much for tipping me off to the fact that there are bookmarks. I'm going to show you how to navigate and speed up your workflow in probably the quickest tutorial that you'll ever see come out of me. Remember, like and subscribe if you like my content and then join me on the other side to learn this quick tutorial about how to use bookmarks in KineMaster. See you over there. So this feature is really good for longer content or content that has a lot of cuts in it. I want you to take a look and notice what you've probably seen before is that the playhead number is a red number that's there. Let's go ahead and scroll to where I've placed one of these bookmarks and you can see that now we have a purple number. Let's go ahead and open up what is the bookmark menu which is accessed by pressing down on that playhead number itself. You can see that I've added a whole lot of bookmarks already, but let's go ahead and add another bookmark right here. The spot that we're at turns purple, and then that allows you to navigate either to it, away from it, or wherever you wanna go. You'll notice that the bookmarks are not labeled with names, but if you organize your content, then you'll kinda of know where you wanna go in your video. When you're on a bookmark itself, the other feature that you have is that you can remove this bookmark, the playhead turns red again. When you, you can access this bookmark menu any place that you are, so you don't have to be obviously on a bookmark to go back to other bookmarks. So, you know, if you reopened your project, you're working on it for a while, and you knew you were gonna work on the end part, something like that, you can hit that bookmark there. Uh, the bookmarks are, the last piece of it is your actions in them, are undoable and so if I add a bookmark here and I hit undo then it will remove the bookmark as well. I see myself definitely using this in projects that I work on for a longer time and have more cuts. I hope that you find some use in it as well. I think it's an excellent feature that's kind of hidden and that ends what may be the shortest tutorial that I've ever done. All right, I hope you find that useful. I know that I will use it in my longer compositions, so hope you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, this one came from one of my viewers, and I like to do tutorials and things based on your feedback. So you can also show me work that you've done. I'll check out your site, uh, all of that stuff. I will see you the next time. Get out there and make some awesome stuff with KineMaster, and see you soon. <laughs>